A great Friday evening to you. I'm CBS 19 Weather Authority Meteorologist David Reese. On this, the January 24th edition of your Central Virginia weather. We are looking at your Doppler radar here showing that batch of heavier rain developing across southwestern Virginia. This is a six-hour radar loop. I'm just going to go ahead and stop it right now. You can see this band of heavier rain that has kind of popped up over the past hour or so down here in southwestern Virginia. That line is what we've been talking about for the past couple of days. And that's going to lift in our general direction, and that's why we have locally heavy rain in the forecast later on tonight. Why is all of this happening? Man, look at this water vapor imagery. Let me tell you, that is a well-defined upper level low pressure system you can see the counterclockwise swirl there you can see some of the energy that we talked about diving through there trying to go negatively tilt and that's just opening the door for all of this moisture coming in from the atlantic ocean that's why we have the potential for some heavy rain tonight uh, again you know, some areas could pick up an inch to two inches of rain by the time all is said and done now let's look at what the 500 millibar forecast is going to do again this is where we look at for the energy and uh, starting off you can see well here's that upper level low in this form so that kind of mirrors nicely with what i was showing you on water vapor imagery there so that gives you an idea of what to uh, look at if you're looking at this from home but over the next couple of days so walking you through the weekend storm system exits another couple of pieces of energy dive over the top of kentucky and tennessee and that's going to lead to the potential for another storm system to track across the carolinas we'll be on the very northern fringe of this some computer models do try to get some of the rain up near 460. I'm not buying that, at least not just yet. I think we're in that range where it's like, all right, could forecast dry conditions. But if southern Virginia, southern third of Virginia, yeah, I could see some rain as we roll into the mid to late stages of next week. Couple of clouds, that's it. You're not seeing any of those deeper reds or purples that indicates better energy, better uh, potential for some rain. That's really not in the forecast until maybe. So maybe next weekend. Now, next weekend, the f f start of February, is one we will have to watch because you have this diving jet stream here, this big old dip in the jet stream right through here. And that is going to be one to watch because we will look at areas out here out ahead of it, and we're going to be looking at the potential for a developing storm system. And the GFS has similar conditions as we go ahead and throw on the GFS real quick for you here. Again, it does have a storm system on Monday, a little bit more to the north, but I think it's a little too far to the north this time. So that's where we're forecasting mainly dry conditions on Monday. As we head into late next week, though, I mean, uh, Thursday, Friday time frame, just a couple of clouds, maybe a couple of showers north of Charlottesville, but nothing to really write home about. And then you can see that piece of energy diving our direction for Groundhog Day weekends. And we'll have to watch some of the timing things here going on because this is uh, Saturday morning. Let's get you to 7 a.m. just so it's all the same time frame here. That's, that's a euro. This is the GFS. So there are some differences, and those differences will result in some different... Uh, uh, scenarios playing out on the computer models but here's a look at sea level pressure you can tell the areas of low pressure here by some of the colder conditions on the north and western side of it so there's our area of low pressure now we have another one that's going to pop up pretty much over the top of us later on tonight that's why we're going to be looking at some locally heavy rain but notice the cold air it's it's already moving away so that's why no wintry weather in the forecast some cooler conditions possible next week that's why we have highs back below 50 again that cold air going to be important because as we head into groundhog day weekend remember me talking about hey yeah we could be talking about something there's going to be some cold air another area of low pressure coming in again this is the european so this is a little bit slower with things but you could see another low kind of something similar that tried to play out this week for next weekend and that's a strong area of low pressure there off the coast of new jersey that would be quite the storm but this is nine ten days out so don't take anything verbatim let's go ahead and look at the, the gfs just to kind of show the differences here 
you can see, yeah, we're going to be on the chillier side as we head into next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And again, that's why we have lows or highs back in the upper 40s. Now, as we head into Groundhog Day weekend, this one has a storm system coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, running into some slightly colder air aloft, and then it tries to wrap around. So that's why you might see some chatter on some of the social media sites of, hey, look at next weekend, because, well, at least with the GFS here, you have low here, you have a high exiting here, you have the cold air damming situation here, so the cold air is going to linger around a little while longer. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. It's not sold on anything yet, but just know that the next really... Oh, okay-ish potential, uh, decent potential by this winter standards is going to be Groundhog Day weekend, Super Bowl weekend. So that'll be something we watch for before we try to turn much, much, much colder to get your uh, first work week of February started. So to sum it up, rain tonight, locally heavy, calm weekend, uh, tranquil weather much of next week, maybe a little shower south of the area on Monday. And then Groundhog Day weekend, we'll continually keep you guys updated. Now, I do have the weekend off, so these videos will restart on Monday. And I'll keep an eye on things, if things trend one way or the other. Uh, we'll let you know on social media, so follow us on Facebook or Twitter at WX Reese or Meteorologist David Reese on Facebook. So you guys have a fantastic evening. Stay dry out there and enjoy your weekend.